Nightcrawler a little bit more today because, yeah, I'm bored. So, uh, I'm going to do something that I've thought about doing for a while, and I resisted. You know, it's not like this thing has any value when I'm done with it, so I'm going to cut the top of this cage off. And I might just ruin it in the process, and I might not. We'll see. You know, this isn't really long enough. But I need the center of this thing to be accessible if I'm going to do what I want to do with this. So, we're going to do some heavy duty field modification. But first, we need a pair of pliers that can actually like, get in here. This design has issues. It's really, it's really top heavy. It's too narrow and that makes it extremely easy to roll it over. I don't think this cage does anything other than make it look more like a car. I, I could care less about that. Um, I'm not building a car. I'm building a crawler. The trick here is just not to snip the important parts. I really need a better pair of clippers that can get in here and these posts are just too long. Let me go see what I can find. Alright, we'll see if these fit. Oh yeah, they do. So I'm fixing to either do really bad things or fix some of the structural concerns that I have with this model. Sure, there's somebody who's like freaking out that I'm cutting up this chassis but you know it is what it is and this is a tool not a toy all right so we'll extract this from the hot snot that's bound to Crappy little light. Alright, so when you can't get the light apart, the other thing you can do is just cut it off. Alright, there is that. Off to recycle. Maybe it recycles. Probably not. Now we need to clean this up. You know, yeah, I'm not going to throw that away yet. <clears throat> Don't think I haven't thought about it. So this addresses some clearance issues, and more importantly, it gives me access um, into the core of the unit. So I want to mount the camera here next. Um, we're gonna make I'm gonna make some massive changes to the camera. So let's just go ahead and disconnect the battery. It really needs to be charged anyway. Let me stop and do that. Bring this. Just want to take off a little bit more of this. It's a nice soft plastic, I would give it that. It might have been high quality before I munched it like I am.
All right. It made it a little softer, but honestly not much. So that just kind of confirms that, yeah, that cage does do squat with this thing, except make it look kind of like the little toy car that it is. So we want to just pop this here for the moment. I swear that thing's really close to going somewhere. You know what? I'm just going to pop it off because it's in my way right now. I'm throw that in. Uh, put that in the box. So to really do what I need, the camera needs to move. And the only way this is going to happen is if I cut the hell out of this thing. So that's what's fixing to happen. plug everything and it doesn't matter all that's getting torn down anyway because this assembly doesn't work the way I need it to so it's going to go into the parts bin now let's revisit this so from here forward is super superfluous doesn't do anything and that means it needs to go away and think carefully before I cut that out. I'm, I'm thinking about cutting from here forward out and that would give me the ability to get the camera in here a lot deeper. Um, this doesn't really do anything. I think we're going to go ahead and do it. It's it's. That's one of those moments. So first, let's take this these sprues out. I really need a better set of cutters. Let me go see if I can get better cutters. So I've got some cutters here. We'll see if they do what I want them to do. Got the reach. Yeah, they're going to work. end of the day this is a tool not a toy and I don't care what it looks like I care how it works so this is a little soft here um, but I think this will improve the overall performance. Um, we may be going back to ship cam. Camera actually wasn't that bad. Um, the problem was this crappy interface. So that gives us the ability to get the camera into here or into here where it's mounted there. So let me disassemble some of this and see what it looks like. Mm. 
first things first, you gotta get the off. And then we're gonna clip all the wire ties. move this off to the side for the moment and that gives me some space to work on this. That works and it's faster. Yeah this was junk at this point so and if I needed another one, I can always print it. Now, the advantage that 3D printing brings to the table is rapid prototyping. And it's completely okay to destroy um, your prototypes if you don't need them. Uh, I've always got the model, so if I needed another one, I really can just print it. I'm recovering the metal brackets because those are actually the part that I would have to machine and I can't print. And I went with the aluminum because it's, it's strong. It's, um, it's not going to have stress failures.
I really don't like Phillips screws for this. I think that the um, socket head cap screws do a much, much better job. They're, you can get some torque on them, so they're much easier to handle. My uh, hands are fatiguing out. That's a carpal tunnel thing. So if you guys see me shaking my hands, that means I'm having problems with them. completely not the right use for these, but I'm using them for this anyway because, well, it's easier. I'm not convinced that I'm going to need to change this, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it. I'm going to leave this bracket crossed like this. That way, if the situation changes, it's not a big deal. Oh, that will save me from putting together four screws. This is much, much easier. Okay, so we'll just pretend for a minute that this is the camera we want to use. This camera actually wasn't bad, it just needed some additional light. If we were to mount it here or here, so we could probably do this 
something like this and this and then put it in here and would this be enough to spin it would so that would get us down there um, and yeah I think that's what we're gonna do and that would give us let's see what our clearance looks like uh, you find a tape measure all right so that would get us to a clearance of around seven inches not bad if we crush it down some more we get it lower but I think seven inches is okay for the moment I'm gonna aim for like that's what I'm gonna aim for so that's my next project okay so the battery is gonna go in here it, it sort of jams itself in uh, well, actually maybe it jams itself in too well anyway the battery slips down in here it's it's a pain in the butt to get in there and I think the gimbal is gonna mount here but I'm not I'm not sure on this and I need to do some research I need to solve the problem of where of the uh, transmitter um, and I actually think I want the transmitter back here um, so I've got to do some figuring and research uh, before the next step so anyway I have torn it down and made it much much smaller as you can see it reduces the overall height I don't have oh, there it is so you know my frame height is now six inches but, eh, it's gonna grow a little bit because there's gonna be a camera on here somehow somewhere and I think this is gonna sit down in here and that'll give me my tilt and then I have a special surprise coming that's gonna handle the, the pan <coughs> anyway thanks for watching uh, stay tuned for more videos